What I'm ready to do is uh, act for the people with our bill to lower costs for prescription drugs and health care, increase paychecks by building the infrastructure of America, and having honest government as we passed H.R. 1. In terms of uh, this, this is a responsibility we have to uphold the Constitution. Uh, I, uh, I have said, and I'll say again, uh, no thank you, Mr. Attorney General. We do not need your interpretation. Show us the, show us the report, and we can draw our own conclusions. We don't need you interpreting for us. It was condescending, it was arrogant, and it wasn't the right thing to do. Uh, so the sooner they can give us the information, the sooner we can all make a judgment about it. Let me just say again what I said to you before. And I, so people, somebody thought I was joking when I said this. I don't, I'm deadly serious. If a foreign government comes to you and says they have information on your opponent, I say to any member of Congress or, or, or person running for office, you take that right to the FBI. So for this a report to say that there was no tacit uh, cooperation, well, yeah, if they didn't bring the information to the FBI, they were delinquent in their responsibilities. There's no question the president is in denial about a lot of things, but he's in denial on the climate crisis. And this bill yesterday was not our bill. This bill is announcing the theory, uh, uh, the continuation of the hearings that we're having on the climate crisis, uh, whether we're dealing with it in terms of a public health issue, a national security issue, an economic issue to create jobs, or a moral issue to preserve the planet. So what we're saying to the president, you're walking away from Paris, what do you have to offer? But from our standpoint, we've only just begun. Yes, ma'am. To follow on Manu's question, do you feel that the committee should still be full steam ahead on the issue of collusion, or given the discrepancy between the Mueller report and Barr's summary, should the focus be mostly on obstruction of justice? How can I just say this more clearly? Show us the report. Show us the report. Now, it was interesting to see in one of the, uh, as we frequently reference, Hill Rags, that, that, that Mueller has said, and I don't know if this is true, just was the headline, that the uh, grand juries are still continuing their work. But it's, you know, it's no use for us to have this discussion. We have to see the facts. We have to see what the report is. And we do not need an attorney general whose job interview was that the president is above the law, that doesn't think a president can be indicted uh, to be our interpreter of something that he should just show us. And I, again, I made my statement on it. We are focused on meeting the needs of the American people in their lives, and that is not what the, uh, the administration is doing. And you would think the Justice Department would be busy vetting the report so it could more qu uh, quickly bring it to the public uh, in, in, in public view. Instead, what do they do? They're going to court to overturn every single provision of the Affordable Care Act. Not a good use of their time. We'll see them in court. Yeah. Now, um, uh, on that score, in terms of all of that, transparency, bipartisanship, unity. That's what we promised as we came in and how we did our For the People agenda so the American people could see what the choices were legislatively. No dark of night, speed of light, giving tax breaks to the top 1 percent, 83 percent of the benefits to the top 1 percent. No. Let the public see what the choices are. Let's go through the committee process so they have time to make their judgment as to whether their interests are served or the special dark interest uh, are served in our country. Transparency. Secondly, bipartisanship. On this vote, every single person voted. Four abstained, but nobody voted no about releasing this report. And I do think, and I've said it, and I'll say, keep saying it, I think that uh, impeachment is a very divisive issue in our country. And we shouldn't in impeach a president because of, of a political reason, or we should not impeach a president if the evidence is there for impeachment. But that's not where we are 